Hello guys, it's Tekariga here, and today we'll be talking about the best anti-virus or anti-malware software you can get. So, the real answer is, it depends, honestly. So, it really depends on who you are, because there's some programs that work really well together, and there's some combinations of programs that don't really work together at all. They have conflicting issues, you know, they get in the way. So, so I'm going to tell you my combination first, what I use, and I'm going to link down some resources, and, you know, just so you can see what other people use, and what is rated the best uh, antivirus or anti-malware software. Because, you know, some people do swear their life on some of these programs. So, for me, the, uh, for antivirus, I use Microsoft Essentials. Uh, Microsoft Essentials is, you know, a free basic antivirus program, and it works pretty well for being free and really easy to get. So, I mean, honestly, the, my I, when I used it, it, it works really well, and to be fair... Who knows my uh, Windows more than Microsoft? No one, because Microsoft made Windows. But, you know, the, you can debate that um, on, like, who knows Windows more than Microsoft. Anyways, so it's free if you have purchased Windows, and I have in the past, so you can't really, I can't really complain. But I absolutely love this program right here, and it's called Malware Antibytes. The free version and the paid version, both of them really well. Uh, I just use a free one because I'm a cheap skate like that. Um, it's con it's constantly recommended all over the PC enthusiast community uh, slash r slash you know PC master race build a PC I see those all the time it's just a great great software I absolutely love it it works so well I use it on like when I'm doing like IT support for like family or whatever I use it I just recommend it it fixes your computer most case you know it does really fix it and it really does help because you know no offense to the people who don't really know how to use a computer but it's easily affected a lot. So, either version is really good. Highly, highly recommend it. Just go, 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 buy it, you know, or download it. And the last one is not really a program. It's kind of, it's a plugin for a browser, and it's a ad block. Um, so, if you're a YouTuber, you usually want to disable your ad block on YouTube. But everywhere else, leave that thing on, um, you know, for the reason to leave your ad block off. On YouTube is you know you want to support some creators uh, some people do make a living off YouTube and some of these people are very very talented I must admit I like some of these people's content um, for me I don't care I don't really I just do this for fun I don't do this for money I don't have a living off of it I just do this pure for fun so I don't care if you use it or not um, but okay for me I use uBlock origin because adblock uses a lot of uh, resources and uBlock was like stolen i believe is that the story and and then the creator made the original creator made uBlock origin to show that he he's the original creator apparently someone stole uBlock and just kind of ruined his name anyways something like that uh just get uBlock origin because it's more efficient than adblock but either one adblock plus works really well you know any of them work honestly but that's my combination uh for the legit answer out there there will be a description uh, there'll be links in the description down below uh, this website called av-test.org and it's an organization that does like intense like antivirus testing and it con the list constantly updates per month so it's very very reliable and up to date so that's my video or my recommendation microsoft essentials malware antibytes and uBlock origin for your browser yep that's it and uh, i have some links down below thank you bye bye please leave a like down below comment what you think and subscribe to see more content thank you